I just jumped to the very first page of your handout. Distance off when a beam. Okay, I'm on page one now. Okay. All right. So we're going to extract this stuff. First thing, Nick, uh, let me, who am I called? Mott. Mott, what are they asking me for? The distance. When? When? When you are uh, a beam. Not at the not at the second bearing? Oh, a beam. Is that gonna happen? When is that gonna happen? Before or after the second bearing? After. What column are you gonna use in table seven for a beam? The second. The second freaking column. Even if you don't understand how that table works, if they ask you for a beam, what freaking column are you gonna use? The second column. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to use my computer again. Huh. Oh, God. This, oh, I'm running out of marker here. Let's hope the blue works. Okay. I'm going to set up my computer. You ready? Course, bearing true, bearing relative. You know how you know how come I can bang this out? Because every time I've ever done one of these problems, I've written this thing out. Okay? Bearing one, bearing two, time. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to go. Uh, you know, let me just shove this whole thing up just a little bit because I got too small down here. Okay, this is the calculator that I'm gonna use. This is the computer that I'm gonna use. The reason I can bang this mofo out is because every time I've done one of these problems, I've written this freaking computer out, so now I can just bang this thing right out, okay? If you don't wanna bang that thing right out, you don't have to do it this way, but you need some way of calculating this stuff, okay? All right? So, Caden. First of all, what are they asking me for? Second bearing or beam? A beam. A beam. So what column am I going to use, Caden? Second. See here, right here? I'm just going to circle column two. Okay? I better remember that step when I get to the time to pull my freaking factors out. All right. Cool. Margo, what's my course? 074. 074. Where am I going to write that? Right? 074, 074. Right. What, Margo, what speed are I making? Oh, I'm going to put that right there. 12 is going to go right on top of that. Okay? 12 is going to go on top of the 60 because it's going to be speed divided by 60. Oh, I need the time. I haven't got that. I'm going to get that in a minute. Okay? 
12 is going to go, the speed goes right here. Speed goes right there. It's given. Stick it right there above the 60. Cool. All right. Uh, Joe, uh, what's, uh, what's the first time in the first bearing? What's the first time in first bearing? Uh, first time is 214. Okay. And so I'm just going to write that down here. I, you, can put the, you can put it up or down. It doesn't matter. But I like to put the, the first one down because it's going to be the smaller one. So I'm all set up to do the math. Joe, where's the 115 going to go? Under the one. Yeah, it's going to go 115. Now, it's not set up for the math, but you're going to have to know that I got to subtract the smaller one from bigger. Cool. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, Sierra, what's the next bit of information? Where's that going to go? Under bearing two. All right, what, what am I going to put under bearing two? Um, what number? 135. And I got to stick something here, Sierra. What am I going to stick there? Zero, two, two, three. Okay, cool. Now I do me some math. Do me some math. I subtract 74 from 115. Uh, what are we doing here? 41. Oh, I'm on the right page, yeah. Okay, this is 41, okay? And uh, if I do, Christian, if I take 74 from 135, what do I get? Well said, well said. Well whispered. you want. Yeah, excrement. You hear that, Joe? Is that okay, this man? What do you think I just said? What did I just say to you? I said, you thought I said excellent, right? I didn't say excellent. What did I say? I said excrement. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, is that? Yeah, anyway. All right. So, no shit. Oh, well, in that case, yes, it was. All right. So, what am I going to do now? How is the table? Oh, I got to go to the freaking table. Got to go to the table. Nick Lewis, what columns am I going to use in this freaking table? Columns, uh, am I going to use the first column? Uh, before I even get to the freaking numbers, am I going to use the first column or the second column? You're going to use the uh, second column. Why? Because it says a beam. Okay. All right, great. Now, the freaking table's in evens. Do I have any evens? I don't have any evens. I got no evens. Corey. I only have evens, so, but these are odd. So what am I gonna do? What, what am I gonna, for the, you know, I can't go in with 41. I can only go in with even numbers. So 41 is between what two numbers? Yeah, so I gotta go between, I gotta go 40 and 42. Corey, what am I gonna have to go between to get over here? 60 and 62. So I gotta look up the number for 40, 60 and 40, 62. Those are two different numbers. Then I gotta look up the number for 4260 and 4262. I gotta look up four numbers. Olivia, what column am I gonna look those numbers up in? First and second. Second column, awesome. Okay, so 40, 60. What's the number for 4060? You'll, uh, Joe, what's the number for 40, 60? 40, 60. Well, what's the number, Joe? 188. Is that right? Where's my finger? Where's my finger, Joe? What column is it in, Joe? Column 40. It's in what column? Uh, column 40. Oh, now we get it oh, it's in the first fucking column, Joe. That's for second pairing. I gotta jump over to the second column. Okay. 1.63. Ah, 1.63. So what's going to go for F1? 1.63. What? Then the next one's going to be 4062. What number am I going to put in for that? 1.52. Okay, great. So, cool. All right, so the big difference there was I, went, I had to go to the other column, and that is going to be a mistake that you're going to make, and that's going to be all the difference. Okay? Sydney. I gotta get two more numbers. Where am I gonna get those numbers for? Which, so I gotta do 42 and 60, 62. Where am I gonna, where, all right, so 42, here's 42. Which column do I wanna be in, Sydney? The first column or the second column? Second. Second column, great. So 
My bracket is going to be four, second column, 42. Oh, it's going to be the same too. So, Cindy, what are those numbers going to be? It's going to be 1662, second column. 42, second column, down to 1662. 1.88 and 1.73. Right. Okay. Nick Lewis, what am I going to do with these four numbers? You're going to add them up. Add them up. And if I add them up, I get 6.76. Okay. Bailey, I just added my four factors. I looked them up, I added my four factors, I got 6.76. What am I going to do next? I'm going to divide by four. When I do that, I get 1.69. 1.69. Devony, this 1.69, what does it represent? It's the, average. it's the average, and it's a ratio. It's a ratio of what? Uh, yeah, there was X. 1.69x. So, Devin, is there any way that I can figure out what the distance off is going to be? Okay, so yeah, that was 9. 1. 1.8. 1. 1.8. 3.0. And we're done. Okay? And we're done. That's it. You're going to have to practice that repeatedly. Okay. To get the places where you're going to trip up. Okay. Now, uh, anyway, wait till you get to one of the problems where you don't have to interpolate. I'm not even going to tell you about that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Where did I get nine from? Where? Oh, what's 20, 23 minus 14? Nine minutes elapsed. Okay, it's nine minutes.